Hi everybody, Mr. Washam here. I just playing with some of my toys. Have you ever noticed why some offspring look like their parents and others don't look as much like their parents? Hey, let me explain. Using these toys, you can see that I have two sets of parents who have two children. This child marries this person and they have this offspring. Whereas this child marries this person and they have this offspring. You can see some similarities and differences in the offspring with both parents. It all has to do with traits. We're gonna use monsters to show you how traits can be passed from parents to offspring and how some traits are passed down and some traits are not. How it has to do with dominance and recessiveness. Come on, I'll show you. Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how to complete the monster genetics page. And this is what you'll find in classroom and it's gonna help you draw your monster. So what you need for this is a coin. You're gonna flip the coin, uh, getting heads or tails. Uh, it's a lot of fun, this assignment is. Uh, normally, it's a lot more fun in class when you have a lot of people flipping coins at the same time. But if you want, you can uh, flip with somebody at home. You can flip with a brother, sister, mom, dad. Like if they wanna join in on this assignment, it makes it a little bit more fun. But uh, you really just need one coin to flip for heads or tails. So the first thing you're gonna do is you can see right here, on part A, right, on part A, you need to determine the, uh, the sex, the gender of your baby. And so real quick side note on gender, you notice that the chromosome there for mom is XX and the chromosome for dad is XY. So when the egg cell from the mom and the sperm cell from the dad, whenever those two sex cells uh, create a baby and they pass on um, all, the, all the alleles that make the genes, make the traits for the baby, the mom, to determine the gender, a mom can only pass an X chromosome. X represents girl, right? So a mom can only have a female daughter baby. That's, that's the only option. It's really the father that determines the sex or the gender of all babies. So you notice the father can pass an X or a Y. So if the father passes an X, there'll be a girl baby. If the father passes a Y, then it's a boy baby. So it's really the dad that determines uh, the gender of babies. Okay, side note over. All right, here we go. Back to the assignment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the coin. Now it's, it's pointless to flip the coin for mom because you're only gonna get an X. So in, in the part A, you only have to flip it, flip it for dad. So when you flip the coin, heads represents an X, tails represents a Y. It's right there in the directions on the page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it one time, All right? Flip the coin. And I got a heads, all right? So heads represents X. So we know right away that the, the mom, so you can go ahead and select one of these. And I say just highlight it, right? So you can just go here, click, you know, click your highlighter, and just pick a highlighter color. And I'm going to say the mom can only give an X. I got a heads for the dad. So on my heads, I'm going to go ahead and I select the X because I got a heads. All right, now, right over here where it says genotype, I got an X and an X. So I'm just going to type in XX. And I just told you that XX is female. If it was XY, it would be male. XX female, XY male. Now, you're pretty much going to do the same thing on the rest of this down through here, except these are all the traits of your monster. So you can see face shape, eye color, hair, smile, ear, nose, eye color, skin style, if they have horns or not, skin color, body style, and claws. So this is a lot, like again, it's a, it's a fun assignment. It's, it's really a lot of fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the coin again, all right, to flip. But this time, notice in the directions, it says you're going to flip for each mother trait. Heads represents the capital letter, the dominant, all right? So if you flip a head, you're going to highlight the capital letter or the dominant letter. If you flip a tail, you're going to highlight the lowercase letter or the recessive. So let's, let's do a couple of these here. Let's start with face shape, all right? So I flip the coin, face shape for mom, and I got a heads. All right, so I get the capital letter right here. I'm gonna highlight it. So just click on my highlighter in whatever color you wanna use. All right, now I'm gonna to go to eye color for mom. Ooh, I got a tails. All right, so tails is the lowercase letter. So again, highlight that. Let's do one more, let's do hairstyle. I got a tails again. So I get the lowercase letter. All right, now I, let's just pretend I've done this all the way down, all the way down for the mom all the way down this column. Now I'm gonna move to the dad column, and do the exact same thing. All right, so here, I'm back to face shape for dad. And I got a tail, so I get the lowercase letter here. 
And let's flip for I. Ooh, I got another tail. So I get the lowercase here. And let's flip for hairstyle. Man, I'm a tail machine. I got tails again. There we go. So I do this all the way down. Now, once I've done it all the way down, I go to genotype and I start typing in the two letter combo. Remember, capital letter needs to go first. So I'll show that in a second. So for, for face shape, I got capital C and little c. You guys see that? I got capital C for mom, lowercase c for dad, big C, little c. Uh, here I got little e, little e. Here I got little s, little s. Okay, so e, e, oops, lowercase, e, e. And on this one, it was ss. Now let's just pretend, let's pretend I'll show you two other examples that didn't pop up in my in my flipping. Let's just say on this one, I got heads and on dad, I also got heads, all right? So this one's easy, that's big T, big T. But let's pretend on V that I flipped a tail for mom and I flipped a heads for dad. Now what some people wanna do is they look at that and they go, oh, it's little V then big V. I always, Always type your capital letter first, even if it comes up second. So always type, it's still the same thing. Little V and a big V, always have the capital first. So I have now done this all the way down and I got to fill in the phenotype column. To fill in the phenotype column, I simply go to the other page that's in classroom and it tells me what the monster will look like. Okay, so I go here and here, face shape. My monster will have a circle face if I got big C, big C, or big C, little C. It can only have an oval face if I got little c, little c. All right, so I look, I got big C, little c. Big C, little c means my monster has a circle face. All right, so I go back here, and my monster is a circle face. All right, for next one down, I numbers, I got two little e's. So I go back, I number, if it's big, big, or big, little, I only have one eye, but my monster had little, little, they got the recessive trait, so my monster is gonna have three eyes. Little s, little s, I go back, I got two littles. My monster has no hair, all right? So they have no hair on top of their head. And let's go to the next one, the smile, big T, big T. All right, so I go back to here, smile, big T, big T, right there, big T, big T, means fanged teeth, fanged teeth. And my last one, I got Little V, big V, which we write as big V, little V. And so this one I'm dealing with ear style. Big V, little V means pointed ears. And I would continue this all the way down for my monster. The last thing I need to do is take all of these phenotypes to draw my monster. Draw your monster on a separate sheet of page. Please color it. Please take just a few minutes to do it. You know, ha have a little fun with it. Have, take a little time. Make it look nice and neat. You draw your monster. All right, you hold your monster up in front of your Chromebook, you take a picture of it, and you turn it in through Classroom. And you're going to draw, you know, these are really good examples that I've gotten from the past, but here are some examples of students that have drawn and colored the monster. You can name your monster, keep everything school appropriate, and again, take a picture of it, turn it in through Classroom. All right, so that is the Monster Genetics. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll be back with a few more things on Thursday. Have a great day. Yeah, 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 yeah! 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 yeah. yeah.